Hey y'all, let's check out Seaside at Sea of Fables. Hey y'all, welcome to day 23 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be checking out Seaside at Sea of Fables. This is a seaside beach slash forest themed Sam brought to us by the Nature Collective. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today's outfit is more beachy than foresty, but that's okay, because we're going to be going to the beach zone. So just very basic um, jewelry today. I have my earrings with the white sunglasses. I don't have any um, other jewelry on because we're going to be at a beach soon. So I have my little phone, and then we'll go ahead and do a quick little shoe check. These are some little wedges that I like. And then I have my little two-piece set. So this is my outfit. So let's go ahead and continue. So this land is TP friendly and I am not in shared environment. Although the shared environment is fairly similar to the environment that I'm in right now. I just felt like this one just made the color pop a little bit better. So that's the reason as to why I chose a different um, shared environment love the water i love all of the nature sounds you guys know how i feel about water in second life as well as nature sounds so this seems like a pretty cool um walkie path lots of pretty flowers to look at beautiful overlook i really love the feel it feels very airy yet warm like um if you were walking around like in the summertime so let's see what they have over here so they have a little campfire type sit and chill space these little kitty cats let's look at the kitties okay oh super cute little kitty cat romeo's hiding romeo said listen leave me alone okay leo and who is this blaine oh they're all happy i love it this is a really nice chill area. I love the view from here. Very, very nice. They got a little table. Let's see what food they have here. When I saw that this place was um, brought to us by the Nature Collective, I was like, yes, I want to see it for sure. I love the Nature Collective lands. Love all the lands. Don't get me wrong, but the Nature Collective lands, I kind of always feel like I know what to expect. It's always going to be something that's going to be... Um, in my opinion very highly decorated and the items are going to be very specific to the space so it's like a pretty smorgasbord we have the almonds and the blackberries with the crackers and cheese very nice so you have a little bit of everything so this would be nice like get up early and then you come up here just to like have breakfast with the beautiful views those strawberries look so pretty and sweet I love all the little added things that they have here. Very, very nice. Love me some food, y'all. Y'all know I love me some food. Oh, it's another little kitty over here. Oh, so cute. Nada, is that the name? Is that her name? I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. So I do like how they have their um, path laid out when it comes to this forest area. They have lots of little sit-in spaces that you can sit at. Just have a really, really nice view of everything. This would be very, very pretty for pictures. I like how they have the path broken up so you get like a little chill spot before you get to like the next level um, of this forest area. Very cute. And the little babies. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty here. The bird sounds are amazing. I absolutely love them. The trees are so tall. I love this. Very nice. I'm never surprised, but I'm always like, 
surprised. Like I'm never like, oh, I, I didn't know that it was going to be this nice. But then I'm always like surprised at what they actually will have, like the item that they put together to just make the land so super special. Look at how cute this is. A little baby kiss. Aww. How cute. I love it. And then another beautiful waterfall. I love this. This is very pretty. It doesn't have much sound, but that's okay. Because the sounds in nature are more than enough sounds for me. Let's look at this flower. And then we're going to go to the next space. Because I actually think this is it for the forest area that they have. Super pretty flower. So when you get down to this space, they do have an area where you can res out things. You can res, um, is it just a boat? You can res a jet ski or a motorboat. Um, I didn't know if it was going to, you could click it and it would res it, but they give you the option of a jet ski or a motorboat. So I'm assuming that all of this is land that you can use the boat to kind of row around and move around in, which I really like because you have a nice little space to kind of just chill in the boat. So they have this really nice, um, is this like a common area? I don't know, more seating spaces where you can sit and go fishing. Lots of cats, lots of cats. I love it. Let's look and see what the kitties are doing. They're being weighed on oh, when he's seeping. How adorable. Cats like, I know you laying at us in this box, why? Mommy, oh, is that the mama? This makes me sad. I'm sitting up here selling these these cats' babies. They have the cute little rug, and then what's this? Can I go in here? Okay, all right. Well, let's see what's let's see what's in here. Okay, is this a, is this someone's house? I don't know if this is a community this is someone house my apologies but i'm all right i didn't get a notice so we're gonna explore a little bit i love these little um hanging seats so this is some of the same food that we saw in the little campsite area very nice i love these little chairs with the little hanging seats so lots of sitting areas in here i love how they separated out the space so like this is a small space but just with like simple dividers you can really separate out the space and you can get more um, focal points in the area so it seems like they also built they built up as well as out which of course as you guys know i always say is a smart thing to do when you're on a smaller piece of land so this is a smaller land this is a when i panned out it looked like it was just like a a parcel i'm not sure how large it is but it's not a um it's not a full sim but that's okay that is okay of course because they made they made it as to where them building up and out means that you're gonna have more things to look at um, around the land. I love these little magnets, yum. So I love all the little added extra details. They have the little piano and the little dolphins out here playing around. How nice. I love that. I love when they have like animated things in the water. It just really makes it just that much more special, that much more realistic. I love how they like added little rocks down at the bottom. It looks like it's something down there. I don't know. Maybe check that out in a little bit. Okay, they got some little sleeping. Is this a this is a seal? I feel like. I'm not saying the right name, but it looks like a seal. Very cute, adorable, looks like a little fat bear. And then we have another one over here, sleep, chilling. So as you walk around this land, they have a path that kind of just like directs you 
to different spaces because this is not a full sam i do like the fact that they are being respectful to the other spaces that are being occupied on this land so they created a path so that you don't go beyond the parameters that they have set for you if you decide to go to somebody else's land then that's on you but they set out a clear path to let you know like okay this is where our land is ending and they still manage to keep everything um cohesive i wonder can i get to this house is it a way to get to this house can i get over here look i'm probably not supposed to be over here that's why they didn't make it easy so they have like a little shower and a little watering space this is such a cute little cozy house can i go in here okay i'm in here that's a big TV. I have this TV. I love this TV in Second Life. Lots of cool movies. They have another TV in Second Life that a lot of people use. Um, I just simply haven't, I haven't gotten another one because I used to watch movies in Second Life, but not so much now. So I have this really nice and cozy bedroom space. I really, really like this because it's like they give you enough to feel comfortable in this space but it's more like a get out the house and go outside and enjoy the beach you know this is really a place for you to just come and rest and then as soon as you open your eyes get you some food and go outside i love this cozy fireplace and these cute books with these little bookends are absolutely adorable i love the plants and the crackling fire sounds uh I just love all the little added details that they add to these spaces. So this is a really nice secluded space that you can go into. It's really chill, very pretty. It looks like there's some stuff going on underground. I do want to look at that in a minute. They have the little rabbit. I like how much stuff they packed in on this in this space. It just lets you know you don't have to have a huge space in order to have a really, really nice land that um, you can share with people because they really, really did a good job of making just everything really, really make sense. So we're going to do it, you guys. Hold your breath. Ah. So this is pretty very pretty so this is like a little underwater world they have the little octopus let's see very cute you know it is cute i like the color the decorations are cute the octopus looks kind of scurry i love the colors down here all these pretty purples and just different shades of purples and blues and reds. I love it, love it, love it. So they do have a lot of chill spaces that are kind of decked off in some spaces like to the sides and things like that. You kind of have to look for them, but I like that because it just gives you the feeling that you're kind of more secluded even though you're in this really big space. It looks like it's something down here in this water. I don't wanna just fall in, like y'all see that? How it looks like it's something, normally they don't do anything underwater and if they do, it's for a reason. I don't wanna fall down. Oh, are those steps? Okay, so it's definitely something down here. How do we get to the steps? I don't know. We're just going to fall down. Ah, That was a far fall. Jeez Louise. Okay, so it's steps right here. We'll figure out where these steps go to. But ooh, how pretty. Y'all know how I feel about underwater worlds. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. They really give like the feeling that you are really underwater and just like a secret space. And I'm like, I wonder, is this how fish feel when they be underwater? It's like, oh, a little mermaid. I wonder if fish like, it's magical down here, you guys. And it's made for us. This is pretty. And they have the little mermaid chilling in here. Minding her own business, as I would expect a mermaid to do. 
Okay, sis got the bang. Okay. All right. Super cute. They have more mermaids. I love all of the sea details with the fishies and the bubbles and things like that. What do they have over here? Lots of mermaids. All these pretty purples and blues and reds and greens and yellows. Everything is just so colorful. So you guys, I really enjoy showing you all Seaside at Sea of Fables. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.